Apple had their new announcement today, and let's just get right to it being the new Apple Silicone. Now, first up, we have the M1 Pro chip. This is the evolution of the Apple M1 chip. It's gonna have up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, a 10 core CPU, and up to a 16 core GPU. We're gonna have a new media engine for H.265 encoding and decoding, as well as a new Thunderbolt 4 interface for faster data transfer speeds. Now, moving on to the M1 Mac, chip this builds on the same architecture as the m1 pro with up to 64 gigabytes of unified memory a 10 core cpu and up to a 32 core gpu now on the m1 max chip we're going to have two video encoders which means that you're going to be able to encode and decode more streams of h.265 and h.264 video which is absolutely incredible for video content creators and the gains that both of these chips had are absolutely insane on paper and Apple was really clear that they were comparing this laptop uh, to an, a specific Windows machine and giving you guys real world stuff, as well as comparing it to their Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch with the Intel Core i9. Both 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros get a complete redesign with ports finally. We're gonna have a new MagSafe that'll allow these laptops to fast charge, an SD card reader, which photographers around the world are shouting yay, one HDMI out, three Thunderbolt 4, and then one mic headphone combo jack. And this jack will have the ability to go ahead and drive high impotent high impotence headphones uh, as Apple was bragging about, which makes sense because a lot of professional audio people use MacBook Pros for music and for audio mixing. Now, both of these new laptops are going to have an absolutely incredible display with up to 1600 nits of max brightness. And this is a mini LED display that's gonna feature Pro Motion, a very similar display to what we have in the new uh, Apple iPad Pro 12 inch uh, with the selective dimming zones and up to 1600 nits of max brightness is absolutely incredible for both of these devices. Now, Apple is talking about because these devices use a unified memory structure, it means that for video editing tasks or tasks that require a lot of video RAM, they're going to be able to use up to 64 gigabytes of that RAM for that specific video project, which is just industry leading and no laptops on the market currently have even close to 64 gigabytes of video RAM. So for the professional 3D content creator, someone that does coding, these laptops are gonna be absolutely insane. Now, Apple went ahead and up the game again with the new speaker setup. Apple MacBooks have always been known for having incredible speakers and Apple went ahead and upped the game with a six speaker audio system in these new laptops with a dedicated tweeter. And I'm really interested to see what the audio quality is like for just the built-in speakers because for all of the other high performance Windows machines we've had, they've kind of been lackluster and not that impressive. Needless to say, as a package for the creative professional, both of these laptops from Apple really feature a lot of tech and a lot of like professional tech, things that people that do creative work would wanna see. Now, the pricing for both of these laptops, it's going to be a little bit difficult to swallow. Uh, the 14 inch starts at $19.99 and the 16 inch starts at $24.99, meaning once you spec, the 16 inch out, you're probably looking at $3,000 if you want 64 gigabytes of RAM, which is not a little bit to pay. I mean, this is a lot to pay, but with all things considered, how far ahead these laptops are against the Windows competition, if Windows computers are getting anywhere between a 10 to 15% increase in performance year over year, if you're gonna replace your laptop every two years, possibly this MacBook Pro is gonna last you for four or five. So maybe not overpriced per se. You guys know that I'm not an Apple apologist, but I really like that Apple has gone back to the drawing board. They've gone away with the touch bar. They've given us MagSafe back. And overall, it seems like Apple is listening to its professional consumers that want a workhorse of a device. And if you guys are looking for a product to go with a workhorse of a device, I suggest you guys check out my TechFluent pouch. I have it for sale on Amazon. TechFluent is my brand, so obviously I have an interest in it, but it holds your two and a half inch uh, hard drives to the back of your laptop. 
And if you're gonna get a new MacBook and you have a bunch of hard drives you need to connect, might be something that you want. Until next time, it's been Mitchell, peace.